Hello and welcome to this top down engine tutorial. I'm Renaud from Momontins and today we're going to talk about respawn in the context of the top down engine. So in most top down games your character can take damage and uh, when its health reaches zero the character dies and you probably want to respawn after that. So in the top down engine that's also the default behavior. When your character takes damage uh, a chain of event happens. Uh, your character takes X damage. This is handled by the health component of your character. So um, let me show you. Here we have the koala and we have its health component. It will define, you know, initial health, maximum health. Um, you see the current health here. If I if I move and take some damage, boom, I'm hit. Uh, you see that my current health is now 20. Um, down from 30 um, and so I lose some health if my health goes below zero you miss me boom miss me again boom I'm dead all right so uh, if my health goes below zero my health component will call it skill method tell the level manager that the player is dead if it's a player character and the level manager will then you know uh, trigger this splash screen and uh, prepare for a respawn that respawn is done by checking what checkpoint the player last reached and will reposition the player there so if i click on restart level i go to this place you know on on that sort of mat and that's because my initial spawn point this thing which is a checkpoint uh, is positioned there so uh, it will also reposition all the objects registered to that checkpoint and checkpoints have a checkpoint order value so uh, as you can see this one is zero but i also have a bunch of other ones uh, you can notice they are linked by this green line so this is my initial point of entry and checkpoint then i have these that are also used as point of entry but for, for this tutorial let's only consider the checkpoint aspect um, point of entry one, point of entry two, which are my two checkpoints. So uh, they are linked in a weird way. You see that uh, it goes from here to here to here. And if you want checkpoints, usually you want to place them in order. So I'm going to say that uh, just for, for clarity, I'm going to rename that checkpoint two. And I'm going to rename that checkpoint one. And I'm going to make sure that their checkpoint order is uh, one in this case and two in this case and what it's going to do is this if i press play you see that uh, if i look at the scene they are now linked in in this order so this would be my first point of entry checkpoint one checkpoint two so let's say i move down and pass checkpoint one but not checkpoint two uh, i'm gonna go get myself killed over there maybe walk on some spikes now I'm dead if I restart the level you see that I am now at checkpoint one because I reached that checkpoint previously um, let's say I now go and pass checkpoint two so I'm past it now you can only pass it like once um, if I go back try to get myself killed again boom boom Boom, I'm dead. If I restart, you see I am now at checkpoint two. And of course you could have many, many more uh, checkpoints like that. So let's say you want to create a new checkpoint for your level. Uh, as you'll see, it's extremely simple. The first thing you want to do is create an empty game object. So uh, let's create it and rename it checkpoint three. Uh, where it is in your scene in your hierarchy doesn't really matter but i like to keep things tidy so i'm gonna move it over there and i also want to click on this thing to make sure i can see what i'm moving i'm gonna put it over there next i want to make sure that um, it has a collider so we are in a 2d game so uh, i can pick from any of these 2d colliders i'm gonna go for a circle collider because why not and i'm gonna make sure that it's big enough so any character that goes into this corner triggers the the checkpoint 
and uh, so I want to make sure that this trigger is checked. We don't want to collide with this thing. Next, I want to make sure it has a checkpoint um, component on it. From its inspector, I can change a few things. I can decide on a facing direction. Uh, I could have my character uh, spawn facing left once responding at this checkpoint. I can check or uncheck force assignation. And what this checkbox does is it basically tells the game that if a player character goes through a checkpoint with force assignation, this checkpoint becomes the last checkpoint uh, and the next checkpoint to use for the respawn, whatever the order. So uh, let, let's say let's say I, I start from initial spawn, go here, here, here. I uh, reach checkpoint three and it becomes my last checkpoint. But uh, let's say I check force assignation on this checkpoint. If I go this way up to checkpoint three and back, even if this is lower in the checkpoint order, as I have force assignation checked, it's gonna become my last reach checkpoint. I'm gonna uncheck that for now, and I'm just gonna make sure that my checkpoint order for checkpoint three is free. So now I'm gonna press play. I'm gonna start at my initial point. I'm gonna go reach checkpoint one, two, and now checkpoint three. And if I come back and get myself killed, uh, maybe, Maybe I could I could go die in, in some maybe I'll die before reaching the hole. Okay, I'm dead. If I restart, you see that I restart at checkpoint three as expected. And that's pretty much all there is to know about uh, respawn and how to set up checkpoints in the top-down engine. I hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you in the next video.